All right, we're doing something slightly different today. I'm going to try to reverse design the cover of Ninth House, Lee Bardugo's latest book. It has not been released yet, but it will be released in October. I don't know if anyone's interested in this kind of thing, but just for content variety, I'm just gonna try to do it and see what happens. I'm not going to try to make a tutorial, it's just going to be us trying to deconstruct this cover and try to understand how it was made. I am fascinated by book covers and I am fascinated by Lee Bardugo, so I hope this goes well. Let's see what happens. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually, I'm gonna Google Ninth House Cover and I'm going to click on this one. This is from her official website. And I'm just going to save it. All right, now that I have that, I am going to open this in Photoshop. All right, I have opened it in Photoshop. Now, This is a relatively simple design. It's basically just type and then there's a snake on it. So what we will need to do is we need to figure out what this font is. And to figure out the font, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw a marquee around it. I'm just going to jump it to a different layer. And you know what, I'm actually going to crop it. All right, I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit. And I'm going to increase a little bit more. And I want to make it pretty much black and white. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to export this. Hopefully this will be enough to identify this font. And then I want to go to what font is com and I am going to upload the image we just made. All right, it already gave me an inverted version of it. I'm just going to choose that one. So I'll just type these characters here so that it can match. And O. All right, so it's found a bunch of fonts. So what I'm going to do is the R is quite particular in this font and I'm just going to focus on R and hopefully it will help us determine this font's easiest. Now it is similar to this R but not quite and this definitely not. Not, not, definitely not. Ah, close but not quite. Not even close, not even close. Uh, not even close. Okay. This, I think, is pretty much it. It looks exactly the same, and the other ones also look the same. And this G is quite particular, too, and... I think it's the same, it's a little bit smaller than this, but I think this is the exact font. So this font is called Portraits Condensed Medium, and it's pretty much the exact font that we're looking for. I think it's exactly the same font, and I happen to have this font. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop, and let's first start with the type design since we already have the font. I am actually first going to pick up these colors. So I'll pick up this black and I'll pick up this gray color. Then I'm going to select that font. It was portrait condensed medium. 
And let's first start with this word. It's ninth. I think it's pretty much exact. I mean, it is exact. It's so we have our first word. I'm just going to jump it and write the other word, which is house. Now, this one is actually. I'm just going to decrease the tracking on this one a bit. I'm going to try 90. All right. That seems like a match. Let us move on to the next word. That looks nice. Maybe a little bit. Uh, that looks good. Okay. So this is pretty exact. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of them and I'm actually going to align them. That is done. There is one more thing. There's that line in the middle. Um, let's get the line tool. Uh, like that. Maybe it's 20. That is not the color I want. The color I want is this. All right. That looks pretty good to me. I'm also going to add the black, the off black. And now we have pretty much the exact type design. I mean, we, we have the exact type design. Um, the only thing we need is a snake. I'm actually going to group these and name it cover. Okay, so the snake can be a little bit tricky. So when I look at the snake, it doesn't look like a photo. It looks like a 3D model. Now there are several ways this might have been done. Because Lee Bardugo is such a high profile writer, this 3D model might be completely original. The artist might have made this specifically for this cover. Thinking about how famous Lee Bardugo is, I would imagine the budget for this cover was reasonably high. So it makes sense that they might have just made this completely from scratch. But it might also be that this is just a stock image they bought, which is standard practice in any sort of design. So I'm just gonna search for Black Snake in Shutterstock to see if this is a stock image or not. Black, black snake, okay. Okay, so surely enough, this was a stock image. This is the first, this is on the first page. Um, it's the exact image, it's exactly this actually. Uh, they just use this exactly as it is, which is great for us. A few things, I personally think at this high profile of a release, I would not use a stock image. I would try to go take a photo of an actual snake. I would push the budget a little bit. Uh, I would even hire a 3D artist if you want a 3D image of a snake, if that gives you more control over posing. But it is standard practice. It's not out of the ordinary. It's just because this author is so high profile and she's going to be even more famous once the Netflix series of Shadow and Bone comes out. The problem with using a popular stock image is that anyone can use this stock image on their cover too. But on the other hand, it's great for us because I can just import that into our cover 
And look at that, how it matches. It matches perfectly. So let's try Photoshop select subject. Maybe it will do a good job, I don't know. It did a pretty great job. I'm just going to mask this. It is a decent job, not quite great. So I'm just gonna try to refine this mask. Yeah, okay. Looks like maybe they moved ahead a little bit. I'm just going to convert this to a smart object. I'm going to the Kofi. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the original one up so that I can see how they masked the letters. All right, let's actually put them side by side. And boom, I think we did a decent job. Looks pretty exact to me. I don't see anything we missed. I would say we were able to reverse design this book cover. Now, I'm actually curious about one thing. Since this snake image is pretty popular. I just want to see if there are other books that use this image. I'm just going to look at books. I'm not even looking at other products, but I'm just going to search snake book cover. If I can type, I'm just going to type snake book cover. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this is not looking good. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So just as I, thought that image is like on the first page of Shutterstock, so it's super popular. <laughs> Someone already talked about it. We need to talk about that snake. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, somebody figured it out. It's who knows on how many other covers. It is standard practice, but I'm just gonna say this just, since this is such a high profile author, I do think that it would have been better if they went with a completely original design. It is a great cover as it is. And I love the type. It's sort of looking ancient, but it's sort of looking modern as well. And I'm not exactly sure how significant the snake is in the book. I like that it's super simple, clean design, but I do think that maybe they could have gone with a completely original snake image for this one. It's not awfully difficult to get a snake photo. Maybe they will do a new cover and they will use a different image. But as I said, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just because it's such a high profile author, it will be noticed because there are tons of books using this cover. Ultimately, I think it's a nice cover. I also did an animation of this cover. I will put it right there too, so you can check it out. That animation took so much time. I don't think I can spend the time to just redo it again. But yeah, so that's it. I hope this has been fun. I don't know if anyone's interested in this kind of content, but possibly I could make more of these. This could turn into a series. I don't know. Other than that, I'll see you next time.